described recently yeah. in the New Statesman as the sexiest man in rock and roll. Now, what have you to say to that, Martin? Yeah, I'm glad uh, someone's <laughs> diagnosing it. <laughs> and what I'm going to do now is ask you to stand up because I've noticed you're wearing your belts in an extremely interesting way. Perhaps the viewers would like to copy yeah. this. I think I can do that. Oh, I'll go on, stand up. <laughs> Now, is that holding everything in place? Nothing uh, slips out? I think so. <laughs> have, have used the word pain a lot, and basically you seem to have... That's because look at him, he's suffering. <laughs> yeah. He suffers all the time. Look. <laughs> I mean, are you... Don't are, take you the glasses off, are you a miserable <laughs> bastard, basically? Uh, no, not really, no. no I am so today, a bit, yeah. <laughs> I, and that you have a lot of sexual undertones in your music. And I was wondering if that came from any personal experiences, if any, if any personal sexual experience, not with particularly one person or an encounter, or any, <laughs> <laughs> or any position. I'm not saying what that. Is that. Position? <laughs> is like but whether is that, is that an offer? An offer. <laughs> what position do you like? Best? Yeah, we're on top. Uh, no. None. Oh, yeah. For the hours. Yeah, this is the first time, by the way, we've won the last three seasons. Oh, come on, Mark! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it gets pretty tiring when you're on the road. <laughs> you know, so if we were travelling in a minibus, we, we wouldn't feel very much like playing when we got to the gig. So that's what Hat die berühmte Rockgruppe da noch eine Chance? Yeah. Look at our team, I mean, don't you think we look still, you know, really strong? We've, we've still got it in us. Now, I'm a, a bit disappointed. We did predict a 5-3 or 6-3 victory, but we'll settle with a 4 all you know. Ich bin ein bisschen enttäuscht, sagt Martin Gore. Wir hatten uns einen 5 zu 3 oder 6 zu 3 Sieg gewünscht, aber wir sind auch mit einem 4 zu 4 zufrieden. 4 zu 4? Das stimmt doch was nicht. Naja. So genau wurde es bei diesem Spiel wo These are your big ones. Good. <laughs> What are your top three beauty tips? Uh, frownies. Frownies? Things that you put on your head. And stop you looking frowny. <laughs> How do you keep your teeth so shiny? I had them done. Oh, really? You could go whiter. You, you could go whiter than that? You could go whiter. I'm almost blind here. I like to drink. Right. So sometimes I fall off chairs. I work on the songs on just acoustic guitar or at home and just work out basic uh, chord structure and work on the words. And um, then I start programming the songs in, in a very basic sort of way, you know, sort of just a, a few tracks, you can just see there's like just a few tracks there. And then, uh, then we'll work on it all together afterwards and we like, you know, sort of better that version. Et oui, c'est la même chanson, mais après le traitement magique des... Martin's got a habit of uh, taking his clothes off quite a lot in funny places. When he did, uh, it was actually a, a track on the last album called Somebody, he actually did the vocals uh, nude.
<laughs> it's just there, there's, there's quite a few of these bands where the, the singer really sounds like Dave. Yeah. You know, I mean, they started off the musics. See, this is the thing really, is, is having a singer with... I'd always be looking for a singer with um, original sounding voice. I'm not saying his voice isn't good, but it's for, tone is very similar to Dave's. They, are they all going to sound like Dave? <laughs> <laughs> we said he was distinctive. We, we thought brilliant. he was distinctive. I know it's techno, it's alright. Thought he was going to go into uh, industrial for a minute. Oh no, here we go. <laughs> good looking plus <laughs> I spot a little bit of glitter right here. Ah. Normalerweise redet man ja mit Mädels über Outfits, aber mit den Jungs, die sind so gut angezogen. So, what's this? He's had a glitter plant on his chest, yeah, so they'll never go. <laughs> Dieser Glitzer, den wir hier sehen, der wird nie weggehen. I doubt it though, but seriously, that's amazing. And I like the face. That's the closest I could get to a hairy chest. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are in the middle of a very busy mix, very industrially working away, but good lord. <laughs> it's got this boring. It's the <laughs> only way we can spice it up. <laughs> Nobly knees. <laughs> Jesus sandals. Perfect. What a pair. <laughs> <laughs> we've got we've got this vague idea at the moment which was used on the demo we've got this pebble which we got from the mud the mud anyway the idea is to roll the pebble on this piece of metal along here this window frame thus causing thus making this sort of sound and the idea is to take that sequence and to make an, an interesting rhythm out of it and to uh, sequence it all through the song you know, so people dance. You're just playing them back off the sync clavier now, are you, Mark? Yep. We've just recorded them, we're just playing them back to see what they're like. That was quite a bit intense. with some big DJs and like when I I'm supporting them when I come up they sort of start bowing at me and stuff like that and it's it's a bit embarrassing because I'm really not a very good DJ but uh he's actually crap I'm crap but uh... people imagine me to be like a real gloomy you know person and I'm not I smile
Hi, Lisa Ranson here with MTV News. Martin Gore of Depeche Mode has been fined $50 by a U.S. court for playing his music too loud. Gore was arrested by police in Denver, Colorado, after guests complained about the volume of music coming from his hotel room. He was jailed for 18 hours before pleading guilty to disorderly conduct. This isn't the first time the band have got into trouble on their North American tour. In September, Dave Garn was arrested by Canadian police after a fight in a hotel lobby.